And I thought that was uh, was was interesting because, you know, Liara's okay, but I'm not really a Tali person. No messages for you, Commander. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Let's go talk to Tali Zora Vos Normandy. Oh, it even says Vos Normandy right there. That that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, do you still have a big chunk of missions? Um, I've only done two missions right now, but uh, I don't think so. I've got green across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. You're such a dog. Wow. Keila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty Board. What will that do to the balance of power? I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Replacing an admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gap. I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. Right. Oh, uh, what were her, what was her, uh, her upgrade for the ship? Shepard, what can I do for you? I guess I already, I already got it. Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Shields? Okay. I gotta sneeze. Let's feed the fish. Like I fed them, right? <laughs> uh, if you look at the triangle of skills, you are tech. Your perfect on paper squad would be a soldier and a biotic. We have to talk to them, right? <laughs> uh, let me see. Um, I don't really. I I feel like the only soldiery characters. Are you floating? So Hadley, how are you gonna spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're gonna kick some ass. I'm sure, you're right, Matthews. Oh, it was those guys talking. Um, I think it's uh, Zaid and Grunt. I'm glad that mess is over for Tali, Commander. Some of those Quarians. I guess living your whole life aboard a ship can really mess with your priorities. Not that I would know. I'll just burn myself. Great. I assume everything is going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Servers regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. It seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of it. Well, I always liked Tally, so let's just move on. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. He's always liked Tally. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's good. Everything's upgraded and better than ever. I've... That's it for now. See you, Commander.
You have a nag flag for your playthrough? Uh, like when you do your own? What about those couplings on Omega? Did we get those? Yeah, I, uh, every time I walk down into engineering, I remember about those couplings. How may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Uh, you hate it when mental notes turn into earworms. <laughs> it's all good. As a matter of fact, why don't we just go get them now? I mean, we're going to uh, do Omega next anyways. we we'll do Samara's mission, so... Go get those couplings. just happened to work out uh, this time. For Normandy SR2, Jacob buffs armor, Tally buffs shields, and Garrus buffs weapons. Okay. Joker's saying that we, uh, we fully upgraded the ship, so looks like I'm good to go. Although I should have, I think I'm going to go back onto the Normandy real quick to check out research upgrades because I think I can do pistol or tech damage or something. All right. We will take you. And we will take you. All right, Samara. Just a car. I don't know what weapons she has. We'll give you throw. I think throw is good. Um, I think a single target throw is fine. I think we'll go with more weapon damage. And then we'll put a rank two in that. Samara, battle rifle, and a submachine gun. What an interesting set of guns. You know, Samara doesn't really seem like a, a, an assault rifle, battle rifle kind of character. She kind of seems like a, I have a staff and I'm going to kill you with it because I'm just that amazing. Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardat Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Hold on. Need to go back to the Normandy real quick. She's totally a Jedi. She is 100% a Jedi. 100%. We have to go through a few loading screens, unfortunately. No messages for you, Commander. It's the wrong side. All right, weapon upgrades. Assault rifle accuracy. Let's do it. Armor upgrades. Right, so we can do tech damage. Nectaration. 
We'll hold off on that for right now. What's in prototypes? That's good. It's also cheap. Heavy weapon ammo. Sure. Okay. So... I can get biotic duration and tech duration. Or I could do some biotic damage. Um, I feel like tech duration doesn't really do anything for me. Specifically me. You know, my my drone sticks around a little bit longer, but who cares? Uh I don't know. Yeah, tech duration makes your drone last longer. That's that's not really that exciting. Uh, biotics, I feel like, would be kind of helpful. You know, they they stay floating up in the air a little bit longer. Uh, stuff like that. I think that's where I'll put my, my element zero into. Really curious why these go into armor upgrades as well. Alright, I thought I had like a pistol upgrade or something, but it's fine. It really no wasn't worth going back to, but, you know, whatever. Okay, so I need to... If I remember correctly, it was mentioned in the chat that... Uh, this, uh... FDA coupling... Was that that one guy that I paid to get off the ship? Uh, you know, let's let's bring someone else. Let's bring thing. Doesn't seem like too many characters have uh, things of dialogue for. Um, Is that Shepard? What's the call? supposed to be dead. Where did you get that Greetings. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. Friendly faces seem hard to come by around here. Reasonable people are more valuable than air in a place like this. I can see you're trying to flatter me. Don't. Of, of course. Forgive me. You just made me nervous, is all. You need something? Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. What kind of business do you do? Important business. So important that, with your help, we can change Omega. What do you mean, we can change Omega? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but certain people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. I'm listening. I'm in the information business, specifically the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? Find someone else to do your dirty work. Of course. You're not the type to be interested in work that could change the face of a place like Omega. I'm sorry I bothered you. Wait, what are you talking about? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but certain people here... If we were to have information involving those deals... Find someone else Come to do see me if you change your mind. I have stuff that will change the face of the world. Oh, really? Would you like to tell me more? That's privilege and information. Access denied. 
humans. I thought there was uh, something like I could have like punched that guy or something like that, but I'm probably just misremembering things. Ordinance packs. Yeah. Yeah. This might be useful. Notorious troublemaker Archangel is no more. People come to places such as this seeking a better life. And when they get here, they find this. Vibrant people forced into destitution on a world filled with criminals. They deserve protection. If I survive your mission, I may return here. Are you sitting through that chair? Yes, you are. I imagine everybody is. You're not really so much. It's just you. The last time I was on Omega, I couldn't find work. You wouldn't think an assassin could go hungry in a place like this. Seems locals handle that kind of thing themselves. And those who can't aren't the kind of people you'd want to work with. Where is that other merchant guy? Sources say that the Asari Shaira, more commonly known as the Consort, may be leaving the Citadel after years of bad press. All right, more weapons. This is valuable. Couplings. And I don't care about shotguns. Let's go talk to Arya, one of my favorite characters in Mass Effect. She's just such a boss, an absolute boss. like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch he was something different. A powerful friend. I assume you decided he was too strong, even as an ally? No. He cast the first stone. It wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Sounds like you changed the rules and the battlefield. Krogan nature made it easy for us to take advantage. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. Interesting, but let's move on. Do you need something else? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. 
She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her? Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I'd start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Later, Arya. The, the apartments. Daddy issues all around. <laughs> I wish uh, running was a little more. Come on, let me in. I don't know. Uh, workable. Oh, maybe it's that locked door that I've been trying to get into. Yep. Was that door all along? Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Mornth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you. Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> My baby. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. You know what would be a crazy plot twist? Or this, um, quest? Is if Morinth was like, you're on a you're on a quest. Help me kill my mother, and I'll join you in her place. I think that would be really cool. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time, to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. She's... Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. 
I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Where are her? Okay. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for secures, and... I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the helix is flowing through me, the way she looks at me, with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. So you kissed a girl and you liked it? Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. And she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who's successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. Can't wait to meet her. <laughs> Let's go ahead and choose that option. You know, we'll, we'll uh, break the mold here a little bit. She sounds like my kind of a sorry. You joke, Shepard. But for all your might, you will be in great danger. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Well, it's a good thing that I brought Thane with me, who is an assassin who lives in the shadows. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Hold on, I'm not done investigating. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Forta. Neff made that. Man from some gallery offered me four years salary for it. But I'd never part with it. You kissed a girl and you liked it? Taste of her cherry chapstick. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of the taste of chapstick or lipstick. Although I will say, 
that red lipstick Come on, makes any woman prettier. I don't know what it is about red lipstick, <laughs> but it's uh, it's 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 a strange thing. Uh, did you read the note to get the password? Nope. Get the password. I read three things. I, I I read... There was only three things in there. I don't remember the password. Is it Forta? It's a lower level. Go to the lower level. Got a dangerous job that needs doing or employees that just won't work? Let us help. I'm Ruth Ostgenera, CEO of Genera Staffing Services. Gotta do, do a little bit of dancing. I feel like Shepard dances worse than I do. Just throwing that out there. Doesn't look like he's having fun with it. Just kinda... Kinda moving, I guess. Oh, there's the VIP room over there. Well, let's take the long way, I guess. I don't know if I've ever been in here. I have to go this way. I see like this line right here and it it uh it was uh distracting. I thought it meant something. Here we go. What do you want? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jeruk. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Shepherds in proximity of the dance floor run. <laughs> you must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. 
Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. This one's gonna be kinda tough. I got a lot of stuff to remember. Getting her alone, then falling under her sway? That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. Okay, what other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halax. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morinth sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. Forta, dancing... Uh... Strength, defend yourself. Uh, uh, don't be a sucker. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Now we're gonna do a hard save here because uh, I wanna I wanna capture her, but I don't think I'll be able to do it on the first try. Apparently, I could just punch somebody. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel Ten? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I wanna, I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel Ten is playing tomorrow. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this is sorry, digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You gotta help me. I'm ready to punch someone, and you're too close. Relax, relax. It's cool. I'll step off. Oh. The music here used to be avant-garde. Uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Slow down and tell me what the problem is. Right. Slow down. Sorry, I, I just don't know what to do. My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Florid. He's the worst of the worst. What is she doing? A bid piece. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile gang leaders. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florit's on to her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. You seem to have a lot of information. I'm her tech. I've been monitoring the gang's calm. The last transmission said Florit's going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Florit, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. It sounds simple enough. Why can't you do it? I stare at monitors all day. I can't walk up and talk to a gang leader. I'd piss my pants and run away. I can't let Moira all die. It's just saying two words in a sentence. You can do that, right? I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember. Terminal and eternity in that order. Just work them into a sentence. That's asking a lot for me. Oh. I've already forgot the words. You're an interesting one. You need something, man? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florid. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. Bitch isn't coming back. I'm gonna find her. Well, oh, man. I hate this place and everyone in it. Every night I hate it all over again. Come on. I can pay. I'm a good tipper, too. I told you to stay away from me. Playing hard to get? 
Give it up, baby. I'm sold. Leave me alone. All right, so I'm not supposed to initiate the fight. I'm supposed to aggro somebody to fight me. Uh, I don't know if I I believe they like she likes dancing. Hey. Hey. I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. Oh my gosh. I don't think that's how you lay on the moves. Dance with me anytime. I don't talk to people. I'm scary. What'll you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve, and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? If you've seen Star Trek Voyager, I think I made a, a reference to Star Trek Voyager. I don't know, a few sessions ago um and i just want to say that mornth reminds me a lot like an incredible amount of a lotness to the borg queen y'all see it too i see it okay so I need to be confident. She doesn't like indecisiveness. I'm I'm confident. But we're also eh. I know what I like. Do you? Ooh. Uh art. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? El Cor Forta. Do you know the artist Porta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Vania. Do you know Vania? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. Okay. Uh, I don't know if travel, I, I think I remember something about travel, but I don't, I don't remember anything about music. Just a car is no, family is no, so let's go with the uh, travel. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? She likes people that have killed. So she like she will like the the danger. Real travel means going to dangerous places where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Hmm. We'll go with power as its own reward. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. But violence is such a charming way to reach that end. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? Expel 10, right. Uh, that one guy mentioned Expel 10. I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. 
They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? Okay. I guess we'll just keep going down this path. What do you think of Halle? Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. The conversation was incredibly awkward, by the way. It it, it wasn't even a conversation. <laughs> I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. He is a crazy Uckafu. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? Huh. People feel safest right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. We've both killed many times. But that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. <laughs> Surprise! Don't count on it. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marinth! Uh, mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morinth! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. Did... <laughs> did... Did I just, like... Did... Did I just... How did this happen? Holy crap! I never would have imagined that this would have been an option. I'm guessing that if you kill Samara, you know, Morn doesn't join your party. Um, and can the chat, uh, can the chat confirm this? I, I'm, I'm just curious, uh, because you know, I plan to kill Morn here, but uh, Morn joins your party. And you have her loyalty. She does join. She pretends to be Samara. Really? How does... How does that affect Mass Effect 3? This is so cool. But her powers are different. Whoa. This is insane. <laughs> Holy crap. 
crap. Ah. That's a little weird, the big cheese. That's a that's very weird that that happens. Huh. Ah, I see. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so uh, in a nutshell, chat is basically saying that if we kill Samara here, we get Morinth. But it doesn't exactly pan out the way we want it to in Mass Effect 3. So while it's incredibly fascinating to to kill Samara and get Morinth here, like that decision blows my mind. Uh I think the right choice here is to kill Samara, or kill Morinth, which is a little tragic because, you know, like, this is a, a power shift in a way. She's evil, so that is not a paragon option for sure. Oh, I'm I'm not worried about the, the paragon options. I'm, I'm mostly worried about, like, the ramifications and how well the game implements this choice that I'm going to make. Because if, if Morinth was a critical party member in this game and then turns out to be a critical party member in Mass Effect 3, then I, I would kill Samara here. Because so I think that would be a drastic shift in in um in like the dynamic of the game uh, i've i've certainly never seen anyone kill samara here uh and i've i've certainly never seen anybody with morinth in their party so that's a very fascinating avenue to go down but if there's no payoff for it in mass effect 3 uh, in the way that I'm looking for, then it's just one of those like, okay, you know, that's that's cool uh, for Mass Effect 2. But uh, I am looking for a very specific payoff in Mass Effect 3, and uh, it seems like we're getting it. So we will kill Morinth, and we will all be sad. End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go. Maybe I should have just kept more for the, the interestingness of it one of those situations of why not especially in a circumstance like that but uh you know life is hard
Am I at max Paragon yet? I believe I am. We will save so that I am not tempted, but know that I am tempted to go back. Um, I guess since uh, I already bought the couplings, uh, I guess since um, I am not going to go that path, basically what chat was saying is even if you kill Samara, Morn does join your party, but Uh, Samara, I guess, shows up again in Mass Effect 3 and I guess presumably joins your party in uh, in Mass Effect 3 or at, at least the way it's described to me is um, Morinth is not a party member in Mass Effect 3 if you choose that option, which is sad, which is very, very sad. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. How may I help you? I'm clicking outside of the game. Here we go. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. Uh, Daro Vas More. Ah, uh, Zen. That's the that's the the chick. Yeah, she's she's going to be a villain. She's going to be a villain. Oh, that actually looks kind of nice. The black. Oh, uh, what's yours? Uh, the red. Uh, so you two are just swapping clothes. Let's see. go talk to Samara. Uh, I, I will say right now that I am regretting uh, not leaving Samara alive. Which is why I needed to save. There you are. It must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. No, Morinth doesn't show up in Mass Effect 3. You think they were originally planning on having her? But it didn't make it to the final release. That is so tragic. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Um, so how does the interaction work then? Does she just show up and be like, eh, you tried to kill me, but, uh, you know, I, I guess I forgive you until we, we destroy the Reapers. Then I'm going to be coming after you. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. 
You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari-exclusive pairings. I don't know. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace, due in no small part to you. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna do it. I think this is one of those what the heck kind of moments.